Okay, I wanted to do a quick video here uh, to show the uh, proper way to set up the page size in your label printer. Um, this is an important video because it's uh, not directly inside the label connector software, but it is an important, in fact, I'll say a crucial setting to getting the proper proportioning of the label and scaling and, and to remove anything like skipping of labels and so forth. So the way you get into your printer driver is you just go to settings, okay, devices, and you go to here to printers and scanners, okay, and I'm going to just pick a Zebra printer for now. Um, this will be slightly different for every printer, but this will get you the majority of what you would have to look at for managing the page size. So what I like to do is go to the printer properties. So you go to manage and then go to printer properties, okay? And this gets you in deeper into the defaults for the printer. So I go to the advanced tab and then go to printing defaults. And if that's grayed out, uh, sometimes you have to go here first and, and click this and it'll enable that. Uh, if not, I'd recommend maybe that your admin give you the ability to, to access this spot, but um, you could also just adjust it under the printer preferences, but uh, let's stick with the way that's best at first. Um, go to the advanced tab, printing defaults, and then go here to the page setup, okay? And what I like to do is edit this first entry because this user one is sort of the default size that's going to be used. So if your labels are, I'm just going to change this slightly and just say, all right, are my labels 4 by 2 and not 4 by 3 Press OK. And then we have a, a second setting here where we like to set, a lot of times this dithering setting with images and some of our text will be improved by just selecting none here because thermal printers are purely black and white printers. They, they don't do grayscale well, so thermal printers by their nature are going to perform best with the setting set this way. So go ahead and press apply there. Okay, so there's two places I touched. I went on to the page setup and I went to the graphics. Okay, set that to none and then set your page size again by editing the top user entries. See, because you see there's some other sizes in here. So we'll edit that one. Um, and then what I also do is I then go to preferences and I do the same thing. And and in some cases, uh, it will inherit. See here, it, you see it didn't. So I'll adjust it here as well. Make this be 4 by 2. And then the graphics setting is already set right. So basically going into the printer properties and the preferences on the way out. So on the first time through, you go into the advanced tab and you go a little deeper into the defaults because you want to make sure that it defaults to the page, the label size you're using. So um, so that, that will uh, help eliminate uh, if you are evaluating our software or if you um, sometimes Windows updates will some for some reason will modify these settings and it really, it really shouldn't. Windows shouldn't do that to your label printer, but uh, sometimes Windows updates will do that. So this is, I uh, hope this has been a helpful video on setting your page size for your label printer. Thanks. Or thanks.